In this tutorial, we're going to examine the basics of inserting and manipulating graphics from within Microsoft Word. Before we get started, though, we're just going to make sure that we've simplified things by going to View and Toolbars and ensuring that the Drawing Toolbar is turned on. So if we've got a check mark, we're good to go there. If not, we need to click on it. When we do that, down across the bottom here, you'll see our Drawing Tools. And that makes working with graphics just a little bit easier. So let's say for starters we wanted to insert a piece of clip art. Now we've got a shortcut button right down here that we can click on. And when we do that, we notice that our task pane over on the right hand side changes to the clip art task pane. So now we can search for our keyword. And when we do that, we get a number of clip art results. We'll just scroll down. Let's say I wanted to use this fellow here. First of all, I ensure that my cursor is in the paragraph or in the general region in my text where I want the picture inserted. And I click on that. Now of course this is much too large so our first job is to resize it. If we click on it two things happen. You see that it's selected and you see that we get the picture toolbar. Now resizing is always done by grabbing the corners of the image. If we grab the sides or the bottom or the top we will of course distort that image and it won't be very attractive. We no longer have a platypus here we have a flatopus. So Control Z will undo that mistake. That's our sh shortcut key for undoing. We're going to grab the corner and drag it to an appropriate size for our document. But now we see that our, do our image is located on the left hand side and it's placed in the paragraph as if it were part of the text. And the only thing we can do is we can try and drag it, but we see very unsatisfactory results. It actually ends up being in the midst of our text. So what we need to do is click on the image. That brings up our picture toolbar. Over here we see an icon that looks like a little dog on a lined background. That's our text wrapping button. We click on that and we click on square, which is a much better choice. Once we've chosen square, we can now move our graphic to an appropriate location and the text will wrap around it. Or we can go to format picture and we can gain much more precise control over that. If we go to the layout button, we can set it to right. You notice this is another place where we can set the wrapping style and click OK and we now have our picture in a location where the text wraps around it satisfactorily. That's probably the most important clue or key to working with pictures in Microsoft Word is changing the text wrap from inline, which is Word's default, to square or some other satisfactory means. It is also possible, I don't necessarily recommend this, with clip art to choose tight wrap. And with tight wrap, what happens is the words wrap around the shape of the clip art itself, not the box which contains it. Now you see that that causes some issues here with the text being on both sides of the image and it's not very satisfactory for reading. So we'll go back to square. Now, Let's imagine we want to insert another picture here. We'll talk about the platypus spur. So, presuming we've gone off to the internet and we found a picture of a platypus spur, we can right click and we're going to go copy image. If this were Microsoft Internet Explorer, that would just be copy. Now before I paste it, I'm going to exercise another way of controlling here. I'm going to insert a table and just create a table that's two cells. And now in the top cell, I'm going to paste my graphic. And in the bottom cell, I'm going to go put a caption. Now obviously our table isn't formatted exactly the way we want it. We can drag that over. Now 
up here in the upper left hand corner we see the handle that allows us to move our table. We're going to right click down here. We're going to go to Table Properties and we're going to go Text Wrapping Around. So this is text wrapping for the table, not for our graphic. We're going to click on OK and now you see that the table or pardon me, the text wraps around the table. We're going to click on the image here and again our picture toolbar comes up. We're going to choose to crop the image. So now we can bring things down more precisely onto the area that we want to. I'm just clicking and dragging on these handles. This is different from resizing, it's actually removing part of the picture. I'm going to click outside the picture to finish that. Drag my table over. And I could center the text underneath the table if I thought that was more effective. And I can also do one more thing. I can right click. Whoops. Doesn't like my spelling of platypus. How about that? We'll correct that. We're going to right click, go to borders and shading, and we'll set borders to none on the table. So now when we print that, we'll just see the caption underneath. We won't necessarily see the framing that contains it. You can change the font for that caption so it stands out more. So there's a couple ways of controlling graphics within Microsoft Word, the most important thing probably is that first clue that we gave you of changing the wrap style for any graphic that you insert from inline to square.